Eagle-eyed shark fans may have noticed that, for the past two years, the killer's Mr. Brightside has been a regular feature in the official singles chart top 100. Since July 2016, there have been only a handful of occasions when the 2004 indie pop classic hasn't appeared in the chart, while this week sees the song log in 200th week in the top 100. So what's going on? In a report released last year by the trade body for the UK's record labels, British Phonographic Industry, BPI, Mr. Brightside was revealed as the most streamed song of any track released before 2010. In the last year, March 2017 to March 2018, the song has been streamed 45 million times, while so far in 2018 alone, it's averaged 878,000 plays a week across all major streaming services, helping it linger around the lower end of the top 100. It's not just streaming that's holding the song up though, it's also been downloaded an average of 696 times a week this year so far. Pretty good going for a song that first charted 13 years ago. The staying power of Mr. Brightside is in stark contrast to original chart run, logging just four weeks in the official singles chart top 100 after peaking at number 10. It's since gone on to become a staple at pretty much any party or club night, helping it notch up lots of streams and downloads every week. Look at Mr. Brightside's full, week-by-week -week chart run in the UK. Here music fans are increasingly using streaming as a way of discovering or revisiting the classics, other popular, catalogue. Singles that perform well in the streaming era include Oasis' 1995 hit Wonderwall, streamed 30 million times in the last year, while Christmas classics including Mariah Carey's All I Want for Christmas Is You, 26 million streams, and The Pogues' Fairy Tale of New York, 21 million, are also very popular on streaming services during the festive period. Image, Rex